by the time I was 14, I was involved in understanding and breaking uh, software protection systems. Then I became an activist computer hacker. I was prosecuted for that and spent six years being prosecuted. Um, I started to develop with some skill in law. I was then involved in running a, an organization for the protection of civil rights of children, with an understanding into how human institutions work. You had a situation where an intellectual construct, a mathematical intellectual construct, could stand up to a superpower. Something about the world coalesced um, with me and the people I was speaking to. The disturbing video was posted on the internet today by WikiLeaks, a whistleblower website. And it shows graphic gun camera images of a U.S. helicopter attack in Baghdad in July 2007. That's a weapon. Yeah. The aerial assault plays out over 40 minutes with an Apache helicopter pilot, call sign Crazy Horse 18, repeatedly requesting permission to fire on a group of men he believes to be insurgents. Hotel 26, this is Crazy Horse 18. have individuals with weapons. Sport radio. You're clear. All right, firing. The Apache and a second gunship open up with machine guns as the men on the ground try to flee. A short time later, they ask again for permission to fire. Come on, let us shoot. Come on. Clear. More than a dozen people were killed. It's believed that two Iraqis working for the Reuters news service were among the dead. For two years, the Pentagon has refused to release the video or the findings of its internal investigation. Right, clear. But clear. WikiLeaks says it obtained the video from whistleblowers and then published it to prove that the helicopters were not under fire or acting in self-defense. You should remember Solzhenitsyn's words that in the right moment, one word of truth outweighs the world. And Solzhenitsyn was referring to a world of lies. But this still is true for information across the world, and it's also true for information in the West, that in some cases one classified video can possibly stop a war. to pull together a system to automate that process, to get as much new material, censored material, restricted material, material that we thought would achieve political reform, into the historic record and keep it there. the classified material to WikiLeaks. The Pentagon is, is reportedly searching the for WikiLeaks co-founder Julian Assange. This video has just been released by the uh, 
online whistleblower uh, WikiLeaks. Millions of people around the globe logged on when WikiLeaks posted the recent video showing Iraqis being gunned down by a U.S. military helicopter. Welcome back. Friday afternoon right now the Pentagon reportedly searching for the founder of a website under fire for publishing government secrets and potentially on the verge of releasing a huge new stash of confidential documents. The Daily Beast today reporting the Pentagon investigators are worried that WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange has a cadre of secret State Department cables which if released they fear would damage America's national security interests. There are no just acts that occur in the world without just information. That was an expression of my character. It comes from my mother and father. This is a don't fuck with me character. I'm a free man, leave me alone. And once I was drawn to it, I could see that it wasn't just about helping me. Actually, this was a great tool for increasing the power of the individual against the state. So this was my role. Our top story this morning, the White House blasting the release of over 90,000 U.S. military records on the war in Afghanistan. This is the largest leak in military history. This isn't a wiki leak. This is a wiki torrent, a deluge of operational field report logs from units on the ground in Afghanistan, much of it classified, and it paints a very grim picture of the way the war is going. In a statement, President Obama's national security advisor, General James Jones, called the leak a threat to national security, which could put the lives of Americans and our partners at risk. WikiLeaks founder told The Guardian newspaper there's no such thing as a fact that shouldn't be public. It will show the, the true nature of this war, and then the, the public from Afghanistan and other nations um, can see what's really going on and take steps to address the problems.